Hi, my name is Elaine and in today's video, I'm gonna be finding out if blue light blocking glasses are worth your money. First off, as always, I have split this video into sections and I have put the time codes to each section in the down bar below. So if you wanna skip ahead to a specific part, feel free. So I work three days a week at a computer for eight hours. When I'm at home, I am either editing or watching Netflix or watching TV or I'm on my phone. When I'm on the bus, I'm on my phone. I'm always looking at screens. I'm also quite a devil for being on my phone late at night. And if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll often take out my phone and look at it. I do have that thing though on the iPhone, which is a night shift mode, which kind of turns the screen a bit yellow. And I do feel like that has helped. Uh, me to get better sleep and for the screens not to bother me but I'm one of those real health conscious people and I also wear glasses just because I don't have great vision I am short-sighted not badly short-sighted but I'm short-sighted and I just don't want to get into my 80s or 90s and my doctor to say well if you you know didn't look at screens so much if you took better care of your eyesight you know, you wouldn't be having the problems that you're having now. So that is where the idea of the blue light blocking glasses came about. There are now hundreds and hundreds of companies online selling these. And you may remember the really old blue light blocking glasses where there's this kind of orangey yellow lens that made you look like you were in like Star Trek. But now they have become quite trendy and there's lots of brands doing like really cool blue light blocking glasses. And I've been reading a lot about them and I just wanted to give it a go and see if it was something that was worthwhile and if it's worthwhile you spending your money on. So the company that I went for was called Amber Eyewear and they're actually an Irish company and I was delighted to be able to find a company that was local. They're based in Dunleary, so they're close to where I live in Dublin. And while you can buy their glasses online, one really good thing about them is they're actually stocked in Brown Thomas department stores. So if you're worried about the frames not fitting you, you can go into a physical store and try them on, which is a kind of an added bonus. So my plan was to buy the glasses, review them for seven days and let you know how I got on. But before I get into the review and before I show you my results and all that sort of stuff, I just wanna explain a bit about what blue light is. So I got this information online. It's from a website called bluelightexposed.com. So please don't kill me if it's wrong, but I tried to verify it and fact check it against a couple of other sources that I had. So. This is the definition of what blue light is. So light is made up of electromagnetic particles that travel in waves. These waves emit energy and range in length and strength. The shorter the wavelength, the higher the energy. Blue light has a very short wavelength and so produces a higher amount of energy. Studies suggest that over time, exposure to the blue light end of the spectrum could cause serious long-term damage to eyes. It may damage the cells of the retina, leading to conditions such as age-related macular degeneration. So that's why I'm concerned. Now the thing about blue light is blue light is actually everywhere. So sunlight is the main source of blue light, which means that if you're outdoors during the daytime and the sun is shining, that's where you're gonna get most of your exposure to it. Blue light is not all bad though. In its natural form, your body uses blue light to regulate your sleep and wake cycles. Blue light also helps boost alertness, it heightens reaction times, it elevates moods, and it can increase a feeling of well-being. However, there are also man-made indoor sources of blue light. These are things like screens, like your laptops, computers, smartphones, tablets, etc. These devices tend to only emit a small amount of blue light, which is nothing in comparison to what the sun emits. However, the concern with the blue light is the proximity of the blue light to you. So rather than the sun being miles away, it's, you know, your screens are right up in your face. And also then the duration of time that people spend looking at those screens. So that's where the concern is. Blue light is supposedly one of the causes of digital eye strain, which is also known as computer vision syndrome. According to Amber Eyewear, the symptoms of computer vision syndrome include eye fatigue and tired eyes, sleep disruption, eye strain, headaches, dry and itchy eyes, neck pain, shoulder pain, blurred vision, and then general fatigue. You often hear sleep disruption being a quite a problem with our digital generation. And a recent study from the University of Houston in Texas they looked at the effects of blue light on melatonin levels, which is the sleep-inducing sleep hormone, 
and they concluded that those who wore blue light blocking glasses before bed showed a 58% increase in melatonin production and hence found it easier to fall asleep. So that is the science behind it and that is one of the reasons that I wanted to test these out to see if they actually work. As I said before, I went with Amber Eyewear as my brand and I chose to buy them online. So let's take a look at how easy the buying process is. This is their website. So it's Amber, A-M-B or Eyewear. And they have been featured on all of these websites. So they've got blue light blocking glasses for the digital generation. So they're saying that you're gonna sleep better, work better, and then see better. As you can see, they have a range. Uh, we'll just go in and we'll have a look at all the different types of glasses that they have. So they say that the frames are unisex and that fit most head shapes. You've got these kind of square ones, then you've got these slightly more round ones, even more round, then these sort of, I suppose, like Harry Potter type glasses, and then these wider uh, rim, rimmed ones. So I do think that they would suit probably most face shapes. And then you can see that they're in a range of various different colors in each uh, one. What's really cool as well is that they have a virtual mirror, so you'll see in a minute that I'm gonna be able to try these on. In terms of the frame range, I feel like these are gonna be a little too square on me, but I think we'll try them on anyway. I don't know whether I'll go, I think I'll go for just your standard tortoiseshell ones, just to see. Um, also, you can get them with no prescription. You can get them as, you know, those uh, readers type glasses. So the ones that you might pick up in, in a shop um, that are just for helping you to read and then you can get them with a prescription. So I have a prescription, but I'm gonna go with no prescription because I do not wear my glasses when I'm looking at a computer screen because I am short-sighted. So I only have problems with distance, so, so I won't need them. And um, I think that also uh, makes them cheaper. <laughs> Yeah, because if you go for a prescription, um, this is these are the prices that you're looking at. Whereas if you go for your ready readers, which are just the, the standard strengths, it's 25 euro extra. So, you know, like if you're going for a single vision one, you're looking at 126 euro. So I'm gonna go for a new prescription. So I'm gonna try it on. So it's using the camera on my MacBook and here, okay. So, I think these are fine. I think, I think they're a little too similar, um, I suppose, to the glasses that I currently own. They're also kind of like you can see here, they're, sort of, they're a little squarer than I would normally wear. Um, and then they're quite dark. And actually, I went into Brown Thomas where they stocked them just to try on the frames to see them in real life. And these are kind of a dark tortoiseshell. Um, so, yeah, so, but they're nice. So it's cool because you can just move around and see what they look like. Um, okay, next I'll try on these ones with the Helio ones. I think these are really, really similar to the type of glasses that I currently own. Um, and these ones then they say, these complement most faces, especially round, oval or narrow faces. So I would have a narrow face. Um, I'm gonna try them in iced tea and see how I get on. Okay, so these ones I do like. They're similar to my own glasses, except they are a little bit narrower. And um, again, I tried these on in person just to, just because I, did, I didn't want to buy something that just didn't suit me, because I do have quite a long face. Um, and they do sit a little bit lower, like with these sort of virtual try on, try on things, they always sit high on my bridge, whereas my glasses actually sit about there. Um, these are nice and but I still think that they sort of cut my face in half and make it look very long. Um, I feel like these are gonna look really Harry Potter on me, these Nova ones, but I'm gonna try them anyway. I'm gonna go for the, um, I'm actually gonna try them on in the um, ice gray. See, I actually think they look quite cool. I just think on me, because of the I think it's better when the frame goes across so you can see my eyebrows, but um, yeah, they're quite cool. And obviously, um, I think it says somewhere on the virtual try-on thing, like this, these would be clear. They're just showing as a kind of a, you know, a matte gray. Yeah, I think they're a little Harry Potter for me. Um, we'll try the next ones. So, uh, actually I'll go for Lennox. Cause I think these are, the Lennox are similar 
to the other ones I just tried on. However, I think that they're not as kind of, they're not as like round Harry Potter-ish. So, okay, so I think these are sitting quite high on me here. But if I imagine them down further, I actually quite like them. I think they'd be nice. I do think they're still sitting that bit high and they'd be a bit lower. They'd show off my eyebrows. Um, and then because they're going to be this two-tone, they're not going to be, they're just not going to look as obvious, I guess. Um, and I'm only really going to wear them at my desk and editing and at my computer and stuff. But um, yeah, I quite like these. And then the last ones that I'm going to try with so far, Lennox are winning, is the Zenith. Okay, so these Zenith ones, I think they're a much bigger frame. So these are most popular frame and they uh, complement nearly every face shape. So I'm gonna try these on in, I'll try them on a pink Prosecco. Mm, yeah, I do actually like them. I think they're nice. I just think that they're a little big on my face because I have a very narrow face. And I could just be with these, but I think that they're, see the way they're just kind of sticking out off my face a little bit too much. Um, they're quite cool though. Um, but no, I think I'm going to go back to the Lennox range. Okay. Right, I'm going to order them. Okay, so I'm going two-toned, no prescription, add to cart. Check out. Okay, so I'm just going to do all this and then I will explain when I get to the shipping. Right, so I'm getting mine delivered in Dublin. Um, so their company I think is in Dun Dun Dunleary and I'm getting mine delivered to the Dublin City Centre to my office where I work. Um, standard shipping is three to four days and I'm going to get it for free. I don't know what the shipping would be like if you're an international customer. And then I'm paying with my PayPal and then the total cost is uh, 53 euro. Okay, so my glasses have arrived. Um, I ordered them on Tuesday morning. And then on Wednesday morning, around the same time, I got an email to say that the order was on the way. And then they got delivered to me yesterday, which is Thursday in my office. So um, it took two days for them to arrive. That's probably because I do live in Dublin and the company's in Dunleary, so they were shipped. But uh, I'm pretty excited. So they arrived in a plastic thing like this. And um, this is, what the case looks like, which I think is quite snazzy. So it comes in a box like this first, um, and then you open it up and there's this really sleek, sorry, this might my poor prints out there, but there's this really sleek case inside, which looks like this. It's a really nice design and it's like a hard case, so you could probably pop it in your bag. And then it's got, um, it's embossed with amber eyewear on it, same as the box. And then these are the glasses. So they come with these sort of plastic bits on the back, which I just left on, um, just to show you how they arrive. And then these, I'll do some close up shots of the glasses themselves separately. Um, just so you can see what they look like properly. But you can see, uh, this is the information on the inside. So it says Lennox, which is the type of frame that I had ordered. And then on the side, they have this nice little pattern, which is the amber eyewear pattern, which you see on all their branding. And then also in this little package, you also get um, a little card. And then you've got this lovely uh, embossed um, little, uh, what is it, microfiber cleaner. So, this is the moment of truth. Okay, so here we go. So these are the glasses. I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder here. I really like them. I think that they would probably, I don't know, um, like I think that they're, they're quite big and they're, a bit, they're quite long on my face. Um, but I have a really big face. <laughs> what I really like about them is how light colors they are. Um, so they're quite subtle looking. Now I don't mind when glasses are obvious looking because I wear glasses a lot. Um, but I think these are quite subtle and they look very nice. Hmm. Yeah, I'm very happy with these. 
Uh, one thing to note, okay, so when you put them on first, right, like they're not at all, there's no prescription in these ones. I didn't get the ones that are reading glasses or whatever. But when you look at them, sort of when, when you're maybe looking out at something or you look at them down against like a white sheet of paper, you can see that there's a sort of a colour on them, kind of a greeny blue colour tint on the lens. So what I find when I put them on is I feel like everything's like magnified the tiniest little bit. If you see actually here, you see the way the light is shining through them and they're almost, it's like a green tinge. So I do feel like that they're magnified the tiniest amount or maybe not magnified, but it's the fact that the colour of them um, is different to what your eyes are used to seeing so they do look a bit different and um, that was just the first thing that I noticed and then I was like oh crap did I get the wrong glasses but I didn't they are correct as far as I'm aware and uh, second thing is they're comfortable and um, because I haven't obviously had them measured to my face I'd say they're the tiniest bit I've got a very narrow face so they're like the tiniest bit wider than I would probably have now I could get a little uh, tool for them and I could tighten them in myself but because I'm not wearing them, I'm going to be wearing them at a screen, sitting, stationary. I'm not going to be wearing them walking around really that much. Um, I'm okay with them being like this. And then I do this a lot with my glasses, which is probably really bad. But I pop them on my head and uh, yeah, so they stay on my head fine. But no, I'm really happy with them. I really like them. And I like that they're kind of two-toned like my hair. For this experiment, I want to wear them for seven full days. But... I am not back in work again until Tuesday. So I'm my first day I want, as so I'm working like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in an office, at a desk, at a computer all the time. The company that I work for, you, you, it's a radio station. So you get up and you move around a lot because you're printing things, handing things into a studio and stuff like that. So it is good for your eyes and that you're not staring fully at it. But um, the nature of the job that I'm in, I'm at a computer all day. So the first day, full day of wearing them, I want it to be in work because that's when I notice the most sort of fatigue with my eyes. So um, so it'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be in work in front of a computer. And then um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, there'll be a mixture of, for instance, like I'll have to be editing, I'll have to be uploading videos. I also, um, my hobbies and I suppose my relaxation is watching a screen, I'll be on my phone a bit. So I'm gonna try my best to wear them as much as possible when I'm doing all of those activities. And because there's no prescription in them, I can probably just wear them around the kitchen normally anyway if I was just doing stuff um so yeah so I will see you again on Tuesday so those are the glasses and according to their website their glasses will block over 55 percent of blue light which they say is enough to relieve the symptoms of digital eye strain the reason that it's at the ratio that it is allows them to to keep the glasses clear um, so that they look quite stylish. Alongside this, they also block up to 90% of UV rays, which is good if you're out in nature or if you're outside. And then as you remember, I did a virtual try-on before I ordered them. So I just wanna show you a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see how the virtual try-on, you know, what it equated to in real life. So on the left-hand side is the virtual try-on. And then on the right-hand side is what the glasses looked like when they arrived, which I think in fairness is pretty good pretty accurate and it was a good representation of what the glasses turned out to be. Okay so it's Tuesday and I'm about to leave for work and I have packed my blue light glasses. So I'm interested to see how I get on today. Okay so I'm home from work and um, I tried out my glasses for the day and there's a couple of things that I noticed. First off they're quite comfortable except for I've got a quite a narrow face, so I do think I need to adjust them because they're a little bit loose. So when I bend my head down, sometimes they slip forward. The second thing was that I actually found them quite hard to get used to. So when I put them on, I just, they weren't comfortable on my eyes and kind of looking through the lens just wasn't, I was really conscious of it. Whereas like I am a, a pretty regular glasses wearer. However, I never wear my glasses when I'm at a computer screen because I don't need them. I only really need them, you know, if I'm in a meeting or something and there's something up on a board or if I'm walking around outside. So I found that interesting because I felt like I could see the frames the whole time and I was aware of them. And I wonder as well, because I'm used to wearing glasses and that the, when I put the glasses on, my brain triggers that I can see distances and maybe that every time I went to look with these glasses and look in the distance um, and I wasn't, you know, th they basically felt different and they looked different that uh, potentially 
maybe that was something that was bothering me. I decided to email the company and just ask them, was there like a magnification if it took a little while to get used to the glasses? And I got an email back really quickly. I think I emailed at 20 past 12, they emailed me back at 10 past one. And basically um, they explained that the glasses take a little while to getting to get used to if you haven't worn glasses in a while. And to answer the question about magnification, there is a tiny boost with the lenses that also help with eye strain. However, such glasses aren't for everyone and we usually say that if they aren't comfortable after a week, then you're probably best off returning. And then they said we have a free returns policy for up to 30 days. Today I wore them from 11 until about three o'clock, four o'clock, and then my just eyes started to get a bit uncomfortable, so I stopped wearing the glasses for the rest of the day. I'm gonna try and wear them a bit longer tomorrow. So uh, day one down and I'm having mixed results. Okay, so today is day two wearing them and I have contact lenses in. So we'll see how I get on today. It might make it a bit easier and it might kind of not, I suppose, trick my eyes into thinking that I'm wearing my normal glasses maybe, but we'll see. I'm vlogging on my phone because my camera's downstairs and I'm in bed being cozy, but uh, today wearing these and the contact lenses was great and I had no problems with them kept them on all day and um, I'm just gonna take out my contact lenses now and uh, Go to sleep. Okay, so today is Day four wearing my glasses and yesterday I wasn't actually in work because I wasn't feeling well So I wasn't wearing contact lenses But I did make an effort to have the blue light glasses on whenever I was looking at screens because I spent pretty much the whole day in bed watching Netflix, watching stuff on YouTube. But uh, yeah, they were super comfortable to wear. I think after that second day of wearing them uh, with the contact lenses and the glasses, I got used to the idea of wearing glasses while being on a screen. Today, I will probably put in contact lenses and for a lot of the day, I won't be near a screen, but in the evening time when I watch TV, I'll put on the glasses and see how I get on. So right now it's the evening time and I've been wearing the glasses intermittently. I am wearing contact lenses and I feel like these glasses have made me wear contact lenses. I think that's something that I've noticed but I'm just editing here and um, about to put on dinner. Okay, so today was my last day wearing my glasses. One thing that I noticed was that last night I was editing quite late, so I would always try to kind of keep off screens maybe from nine, 10 onwards so that I get a decent sleep. But I was editing up until about 11 o'clock and usually that would have me sort of buzzing and it would take a little while for me to come down after that. Um, but I just went straight to sleep. That's definitely something that wouldn't normally happen if I had been editing or on my computer. So that's another interesting development that I've noticed from the glasses. I'm gonna kind of put all together my thoughts of things that I think are good and bad or whatever, and I'm gonna talk about all of them and sort of summarize it for you in the next clip. And thanks for coming with me this week as I tried out these glasses. The first thing is that it is worth noting that they do take that period of adjustment. Once that period of adjustment has passed, you're plain sailing with the glasses. However, I did, I stopped wearing them for about two weeks and when I went back to wear them, there was a period of adjustment again. However, it was a smaller period of adjustment than the original one. So I was more used to the glasses uh, second time round. Secondly, for me, I probably, the way that I wear glasses, I should probably have two pairs, a prescription pair and a non-prescription pair. That's something that I may look to save up and get so that I'm protected all the time with my glasses because I definitely found that when I wore contact lenses with them, that the glasses were much easier for me to use, which would mean that if you have fairly perfect eyesight, these glasses are probably gonna seamlessly fit into your life once you get over that initial adjustment period. Another point to note is that it's kind of annoying to remember to wear them, especially at night, because sometimes I want to sort of lie on my side and look at my screen. That's a habit that's my fault, but it was just something that I keep needing to remember to put them on. So it like that if you did have two pairs, or I think actually they do a sort of an extreme version, which is the orange ones, but you could leave them beside the bed and it would mean then that, you know, you, and um, would always have a pair somewhere around the house. Obviously that's an expensive thing, but if you care about your eyes and macular degeneration, maybe that's something that you'd like to do. In terms of the benefits that I found, my eyes were definitely less tired by the evening time, especially on my work days. I also found, as I explained in the video, that if I was editing late at night or doing computer work late at night, that I was able to fall asleep almost instantly, whereas before it would take me about a half an hour or so to wind down and for my brain to get tired. That's something that's a real benefit and it's 
for one reason that I would always be wearing those glasses when I edit at home on my computer. Another thing I noticed that my eyes didn't get as sore watching TV when I had the contact lenses in and the glasses on. Obviously, I have to have some sort of vision, like I have to have contact lenses or something in, in order to be able to see the television comfortably. But uh, once I had my lenses in and those glasses on, there was no eye strain and pain that I would usually get if I was just wearing my regular glasses throughout the day and then looking at TV at night. In terms of uh, critique of the actual brand, the I can't fault them. Their customer service was great. The guy came back to me really fast. The delivery came out. The packaging is gorgeous. Uh, the glasses feel really sturdy, so I feel like they're worth the money that you're spending on them. The choice of frames is really good and the choice of colors, they're quite cool. Um, and I think there's something that people would really want to wear. I also really like that they're a local company because I like to support and buy local. And if you're living in Dublin, um, it's cool that you can go into Brent Thomas and maybe try them on and actually see what the glasses look like in real life. So would I recommend them? Yes, I would especially if you're doing something like editing or you're doing close computer work or you're sitting at a computer every day. I think that like me, if you wear your glasses in a similar way, you need to really think about whether you should go for the non-prescription ones or whether you should just spend that little bit more and get the prescription glasses. That's one thing probably I should have thought about a bit more before I did this, but I was kind of trying to be a bit cheap with it. I just think that they look well and I definitely found a difference with them. Again, I'm a good sleeper, so, Maybe someone else who has trouble sleeping from using screens, they might find more benefit. But for me, it definitely was worth having them. And I really, really like wearing them. I've also got some compliments on them, so that's always good. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I think I've covered all of the bases. If there's any questions that you have, please pop them in the comments below or maybe contact Amber directly themselves. Um, obviously this is just one brand of these blue light blocking glasses and there's hundreds and hundreds out there and um, if you've ever tried a pair please let me know in the comments below and let me know how you've got on of course if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more content from me please click the subscribe button and you can follow me on all my social media links and yeah i'll be back with another video in one or maybe two sundays time thanks for watching